Thank you. Um, given the expectation that the election outcome will produce policies that would meaningfully impact the U.S. economy next year, how is the committee taking these proposals into account for upcoming decisions, including potentially the next one in December? And, and can you give us any more sense of how proactive or reactive the Fed is prepared to be to changes in economic policies with the next administration? Sure. So <clears throat> let me say that um, in the near term, the, the election will have no effects on our policy decisions. Um, as you know, many, many things affect the economy, and anyone who writes down forecasts uh, in their job will tell you that the economy is quite difficult to forecast looking out past the very near term. Here, we don't know that, what the timing and substance of any policy changes will be. We therefore don't know what the effects on the economy would be, specifically whether and to what extent those policies would matter for the achievement of our goal variables, maximum employment, and price stability. We don't, we don't guess, we don't speculate, and we don't assume. Now, just in principle, it's possible that any administration's policies or, or policies put in place by Congress could have economic effects that over, time, over time that would matter for uh, our pursuit of our dual mandate goals. So we, along with countless other factors, forecasts of those economic effects would be included in our models of the economy and would be taken in, into account through that channel. <clears throat> 